and then something come right here. Is that right? Apple block, something come right here, you shut down and hit it. So this is apple block, right? You do it to me here? Apple block, that's a way. Yeah, there's a matter of fun. Look here, it could be this. There's a matter. Okay, so just here and then down. This. This is supposed to Ah. It's here. Extend your hand down with the part. There. This is an apple block and then the straight hand down. Yes, straight down. Here, straight hand down. Just same like what you did before. So this one here, go down, that's part. So it's not like the get the elbow drop one. It's elbow different. drop is something that maybe different. let's say he do this and do this. Wait, I just drop. Yeah, drop. I'll match the drop. It's yeah. different. This one yes. is different. Block. This one can go here and see from far away. Then you are down here. Way. Yes. So this here, down this way. Is that here? Down this way. Right? This, if you have, you still have time. You do this, you turn this, now you face him, and then you punch it. But if you tap it too fast, when you cannot turn. You don't see it. Drop your elbow. Here, and drop your elbow, and then punch from here. There are many different things. There are many shot. different techniques. Yes, yeah, yeah. This, I can just drop the elbow. It's good. Drop the elbow down, punch it. That's good. Yeah? But if that one come in, this one come in, you might want to play that side better. Because now, you turn him to the side. Is that right? Yeah, there you go. So if that move on this will become like this, and then here, yeah. low. Yeah? Here, yeah. low. And then, yeah? Uh, that's why we have that technique in here. Elbow block, and then down. Very good. Elbow block, and then down here. Very good. Yeah? And then, punch, and punch. Yeah. So this one punch is not important. Important is how do you change from this to the low block it so we don't get hit. Yeah, you see most people do this and they catch like that. no good. Catch, catch with hand down, they're not strong. You're not gonna be fast enough, yes? But if you cut it, you got the whole arm like this, the protect is a lot better. Does that make sense? Ah, yes. So they teach you from here and go down. Arm, go down. Yes? Alright. Next thing you do is you have two hand block, top and bottom at the same time. Can you do that one? Top bar, good. And then walk to the side. Oh, yes, you can do that. From the outside, and then from the outside, up the other arm. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And try the low hand. Land it. One more time, one more time. Try it low bit deeper. So when you really hit it, don't try to hit the wrist. It close to your elbow. It, 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 yeah, the forearm, but behind it, the force is elbow force, and not the forearm force. Yes. yes. So, good, yes. So, when you don't try to be hit the hand very strong and you hit the person with your arm rather than using your elbow force. Ah, yeah, so when you open the hand like this, you cross hand like this. Okay, so I punch it, you, do, you can do like this block like that. Yeah, we turn like this. Good, both hand, both hand, go in the air, both hand. So even if it doesn't touch my hand, you don't care. If you have one high, one low, do the air. Look. One high, one low, like this. And then you turn, one high, one low. Yes. One so side one more. We we'll still do it both. We'll still do it both. Why yeah. it happened? Because sometimes you don't know. It might happen too fast, and you're not sure that you get an accurate. You throw both blocks. Mm. It might be caught here. It might be caught here. No, no, no. Okay, this here. And this side here. So it's a matter. It could be there. Right. It could be caught in here. But it doesn't matter. It protect from your face all the way down. All the way down. Right. It's called split block. But we're not sure. We throw both. Right. So, ah, so it's in here. Okay. It's in here. Beyond right here. Now, so then you stop right here, good, and then now you, now you pack and hit the pad. But if you then you have low punch and you do this, this mm -hmm. hand don't change, this hand still there. Yeah. Uh, can so hold, hold. so so if you see this one come here, then they get caught from the low hand. This hand don't change. And after this move, maybe this hand come, so that hand there for the convenience. Mm -hmm. So we don't go that, I'll go that. I keep the split. Yes. Always keep the split block protect all the way up to your face. Mm -hmm. Yes, or up down there. It doesn't matter. And this hand still there. Mm -hmm. So when I'm punching this side, do the other side. Oh, the other side. Yes, this side. Yeah. Now you get. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. If you aim for your face, you have two blocks. Good. And then take your hand and attack it. Mm -hmm. Good. Here. If you aim low, then you cut him a low, mm -hmm. and the fun still have free and hit him from there. It doesn't matter. So we're trying this and both. Yes, split both split defense. Uh, I'm not gonna do this, I might miss it. I might not do like this and miss the face. So if something happens too fast, you have to cover both. Emergency, I go top and the bottom at the same time. That's the idea. 
So I have two like this. Okay? This and then high. You always have one hand free down there. Just something down there, or maybe this hand happen now in the leg time, maybe you already have it right there, right? Yeah, that's why it's called split lock. It's all okay. one combo top in the ball. And now you're not used to take it down and hit them. Blah, 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 blah. No. The hand, then you take the hand hit. Or if he punch low, then you get in the bottom hand. The top hand become an extra hand. Mm -hmm. Good. So I'm it. That's it. Just extra hand right here, and then you can punch from here. It doesn't matter. Uh, so this is one of the. It's called now they combine both techniques a low block and a high block together. Okay, split block. In the split block, that's why when you do one on dummy, you want to aim a bit deeper. So when you feel elbow force in there, yes? Yeah? have to be elbow force, yes. No forearm, with nothing about forearm at all. All the way based on your elbow. Good. And it's the same thing block later on to get the kick. Ah, right? Because logic, the kick come in, you use your arm to block the kick, it's impossible. It hurt, the kick is hard. But if you understand, this is a elbow. Elbow, elbow, elbow. So the elbow like this, very strong because we wouldn't tell you to hit. So when you do that and the landing on both of your elbow, that's why we jump and take it. Yeah, that's it. It is it not, it's not hard enough. Because now what we're gonna do then is an elbow, yeah? It looks soft up here, but when we hit you, it will actually the elbow. That's why both elbow. Top and bottom. Yes, and one block, you go from here, from here to out here. here to and the next one connect right to the elbow to a, a low up to here. Yeah, so and you will long get long that. Long so that. Long. Yes, so that is a long. We have two, two common blocks that we're doing that way. The other one is combined of this and this. So you hit the elbow like this, elbow block, mm -hmm. okay? And then the tonsil block. Good! So this is another combo. So, Okay, so normally you have a walk now, have a walk, yes, mm -hmm. with one hand, remember that? Mm -hmm. So now, there was, you have this, but then you have this as well. Mm -hmm. Again, this now will be a combo, both of this elbow, like that. Mm -hmm. So what happens is maybe, maybe, okay, right here, you gotta go in, like this, mm -hmm. right? And this hand, sometimes you get caught right here, or it's like, come and turn, there, like a shield. Sometimes, let's say, remember, when open come in, you learn Tana, remember Tana? Okay, Tanda. All right, so now, Tanda, now the guy hit harder and then you feel like that's not enough. Mm -hmm. So hold it, hold it, same, bring the elbows in. Now you got him with it. Now he feels okay, now we need to be double. double. So Why not enough? He hit harder. Then now we bring the elbow from here. We'll combine with it. Uh, now we need some feel, is it? Yeah, because it's like two things different. Yes. But first, maybe he do slow down and time down. Yeah, yeah. Good, but it's a little bit harder than turn. Now he can feel the whole body in there. Time so now he's not feeling. Double block. Double block. He will feel again, put it up, put it up here. Again, mm -hmm. it's not about forearm again. He will feel the elbow and hip. He will feel this. He will feel this through here. So if you're watching the IP man when you fight with Mike Tyson in that movie, they use it again, Mike Tyson. So in the movie was Mike Tyson who hit hard and he hit one and, <laughs> and then he started to do this. Boom. And now he can take it care. He hit the guy right here, right to the yeah, to the bicep. And now, oh, now Mike Tyson starts to feel a little bit. Yeah, that the movie was in one of the the movie the experience of the yeah. ultimate challenge. So they use that again, a strong opponent, hit hard, now you use the ball. And not only did this, you're adding the elbows in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, all this from the again high kick in take one go, not kick here, they use both. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. And I see. Yeah, two together, yeah, uh, so this is now taking care of something, something a bit harder. Mm -hmm. So this double block have many use, and I'm using number one for you just that. Mm -hmm. The use for advanced level will be a bit different. Okay, advanced level will be like this. Bring your arm up. Okay, let's say you're right here. Yes. So when you do like this, okay, when for that block, for example, you put the block, block, okay, regular block, and you hand it in. Now, the guy just wrap your hand, you wrap your hand and you punch it, so your hand stop. Is that it? Because your hand stop. So now, you bring your back hand up, 
-hmm. and now that becomes If I wrap here, I wrap the front, you turn the back, then you turn the elbow. I wrap this, you turn the elbow, and you turn the Yeah! Hold it slowly, relax, don't fight. This relax and turn, and then bring your back into this action. Here. Uh, so they pull this, we don't fight, we turn and we use the back hand to do an action block. Have to be inside, not outside. Inside, turn, there. So this is when that technique uses when the wind zone people get in hand, hold. And then hit them. Mm -hmm. Boom. That now for us, that's the balance. So this move for many, many different purposes. Mm -hmm. When you have it wrap this and wrap the hand last and punch. I can't fight. Stop. I use the back hand. Wrap the hand again, then I have this. Mm -hmm. I do it this and I go outside. So they teach you to go from oh, I just Yeah. You know. so, <laughs> so it's not only for again uh, one application like that. But two, when somebody wrap your hand, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now you're stuck, you cannot fight, isn't it? You then you use, a, you use a second hand. It's always go from inside of the body, come out. That's why they look like this. Is that? Is that? See so it. when you go block, block, there you go. You do the first block. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly, I see that at the, he see you, if you wrap your hand, you cannot fight. So then he, he wrap your hand, and he only hand he about to punch, so then you stop. You, you turn the elbow up, yeah, and then the other hand comes from inside of your chest. Well, oh. Good, you get elbow turn. Right. That's it. So you do this one and deflect him. At the same time. Ah, deflect him. But this hand comes up. Under this hand? No, no, no. Just don't block, block, block. I said block hand. Mm -hmm. Just like that. When I wrap this hand, it doesn't come from here. It comes inside the body. Yes, yeah. you turn it from the inside. You turn it from the inside here. Inside. Inside. Yes, okay. good. So my hand hold it, you kind of go here, you go from inside there. Turn. So first of all, turn the elbow first mm -hmm. and take your hand. There. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Is that right? I'm pull you. That's it. Okay. This one turn to the elbow. Mm -hmm. Good. That's the only thing your hand go from the inside and it cover your face. Then. Is that right? Because you're going to turn. Yeah, first kind of a little hard to do your shoulder. But if you relax it, elbow turn. And take it from the inside. This? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. You see here? Okay, no way you can go here. Stop. He wraps your hand. What well, happened? That hand come? That's it. That hand come? That's it. Okay, but remember, it's not only this doing the block. This elbow cup as well. You turn that out. That's it. It's always going to go. Exactly. Because when you punch it, it might be strong. So this is not enough to be also this. And after you got the hit, then what happened? You can hit him from here, and you take the hand off, and you hit him, so he'll be like this. Okay. When you hand me his rock, it up, this is how it's happening. Uh, so you train like that. From here, that's happening. Turn, turn. Turn, turn. Turn, turn. Turn, turn. Turn, turn, and hit, and then keep going. So the idea when we rock our hand, we don't fight. You see your fight, you stop. How can you fight? How can you fight? You don't fight. You just turn it. Yeah. Yeah. You see that? How can you fight it? That fight. Ah, so if he wrap you, will not fight it. He wrap and he punch you. Now you use it. That's number one. That's number one. Instead of how do you fight it? No way. But turn the hip. That at least you can knock him away. And why he knock it away? Where your second hand? Second hand hit him or here? Ah. Uh, if if that second hand free right here to punch him, with nothing to do complicated. It just somehow they get caught here and he punch you, that hand come up to save you. Mm. Save you. That, that's the way she boom and and uh, we fast because that the second, the second hand come up and, and block it. The first hand easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is easy. why you do that. Okay. okay? So when you understand people beginning, then they show this at a, at a strong person punch. Mm -hmm. So when you look at your first one is time and elbow. No, with the elbow, punch up, punch up, hand and elbow, in. Oh, this one too. Ah, that's it. Okay, so there's two Boom. together. Do this together, this side. Okay, so this is a, now he feel. First application, that should be good enough. That could be good enough. More confident, punch him. So first, just learn. Okay, that makes sense. The second one, the yeah, second one more technical. This when one. you have it, wrap it up. No, that's the same technique? Same technique, but it's two things at the same two time. Two things. One, to, again, strong opponent. We need to borrow the elbow force. Two, your hand can wrap it up and he pull you. And you cannot fight, and then you use your second hand at, a, at the backup. Mm, I 
see. I think it's because when we're doing Silicon Town, they show you like one thing at a time and how they're using now two we together. Of course, of course. Like any of course. They teach you a small plus, like that ladder, 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 yeah, and how they combine them together. That's an art. Yeah, that's Is that great. right? I love it. Because yeah. honestly, it's the stuff that we know already. It's just to link it together. And just link it together. It so, what you do next in this lab work, you start doing called This is how, when the force comes, we don't resist it, we breathe and rap. So, the first moment in Silicon Valley, you do like this, meaning the force comes to you, you guide the force away. You guide it away, then you hit. That's the one. You guide it back and you hit it. Yes. Instead of any other art, never guide the force away, resist it or fight back. We don't fight. So, this one here, you guide the force away and end up his force and hit it. That's the idea of the Yes? Otherwise, if I go in and you resist that block, you resist at the block, then you get next, or maybe you get something else. Right? If you don't fight, but if you guide it away, then when you talk, then you punch with that hand, or you punch with the same hand, that's the purpose of Wing Chun. All Tai Chi, same idea. Yes? So to get an exercise like this, first, I want you to do this Yeah, you slowly down, block, and then you punch with first drill. Yeah? Hands kind of up like this. So when I'm punching, you guide down, and, but when you guide down, use an elbow force. Don't use your wrist force. Your hands off. Yes. So you're controlling by elbow. And you still slowly, that's it. And if not press down, it's like, that yeah. move. So yeah. yeah. So go toward, move. Yeah. Yes. When, go down. When you get down here, what you control is not your wrist forward. If you control it with your wrist, put your wrist forward, and then you hold it, hold it strong on your wrist, we get this. Uh, that's why we don't want to use your wrist when you're strong. What you want to do is, when you go here, you control him with your elbow. I just imagine something coming, I hold that elbow. So you can have your wrist and free. That's what we want. So go down, control with the elbow, yes? Mm -hmm. This one free. Why? Because they're fast to hit it. They're also fast to catch it. Mm -hmm. down. If you go down and you hold with the whole arm, hold strong, that could be a hole, but you uh, cannot use it anymore. This will be no, hold hard, and this will be also no. Ah, uh, but then you control him with your elbow. Now we still have both available. Mm -hmm. This one can catch. Mm -hmm. This one can hit him fast, hold it, and because of the elbow, it is loose. Mm -hmm. I move my hand to go forward. Mm -hmm. I move my hand, and then you, know, you lose. So they act like the spring. Yes? Mm -hmm. The spring meaning you hold the force down to the spring, mm -hmm. but at the move, you swing right to the face. Mm -hmm. One move. It's like a ricochet. Okay, <laughs> so look at, yes, that's what you see in Chum Kiyo. What you had this move after one? Remember now? Yes. What is that for? They teach you any time you block somebody, mm -hmm. you have it load like the spring. Mm -hmm. It loaded. It's loaded. Yeah, and he moved, hit him. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. if we don't learn with Chum, you know what happened when I move my hand off your block? Like this? You were blocking. There you go, you chase him. But if with Chum teach you, don't chase him. It, that, the spring loaded. Spring loaded, so I go, mm, and he move out. Hit him. Why do we need to block for what? That's why before in the form they did it. First move. First move. There's so many things. Yes, that's what we talk. That's why you learn correct. You see the small thing. But you learn to teach me how to do a block block. Then you're missing those in point. Those in what make when jump different. Block the elbow. Yes, block the elbow. It's spring and it move. Hit it. We don't need to block. So when you understand the part from here, go back down, they see the sand, they hold there again, they move, just that. Okay, so it's still hold enough, can the guy can out force, can that your elbow will hit force, right? If he can control it, you still have both hands available to hit it. Whatever you want to hit, this is still available to pack if you need it. But if you think of a, a karate block, hard, uh, this one not, not fit this problem, yeah? This one is only now you only rely on this hand left because this hand cannot move. Uh, so you hold like this. Uh, but if you hold like one charm person, you go in, you have that relax and ready. It's loaded. So he thought you don't hit, but he moved, boom, oh, right away. Right away, yeah. yeah that's that's the tricky part. That's yes? Part so that's why you see that one charm have that. It makes sense? Mm -hmm. that any like that. So here, I hit. You go back and you find me, also I learned to be here. So I go back, I hit, and you hit me, I learned to help more. So they teach me, I want to hit, you will react, and when you hit me, I also stick with you. We're teaching both of us a lesson. Because normally, if I don't learn with Chang, go here, you do that lock again, 
Okay, and then when you hit, I start to this. So I, I remove from your hand, or punch and have to be knocked off like this. What happened to the next one? Next one will come. So it teach me in the fight, when you go and I stay with you, it stay there. I just lift your energy. Go down, go fast, just lift it. So it's still there. It doesn't disconnect the hand. And that's why I'm not slow. Another, another yes. So same. Now you reverse. Now you have right hand here. You hit me. I do this. Yes. Do this. So if you don't learn it, you just take hand and just block. Ah, from the good hit. I block. You see, doesn't matter how fast you go. Yeah. Go back. Now block. And then you get. Because if you relax and go for a block, maybe by the block then it come down on this time here. So when Chang teach us not remove your hand from that position, stick with hand. You will get pop right here. Head in front, right? Stick with that, turn the elbow. Then you stay there. You don't leave. You're faster than you leave, isn't it? And then you let it go. So now you can see that. Your palm right. Now a punch. If you stay there and you just move your hand with me, you don't get hit. But this is you take it, you do the whatever the block is, you still almost get hit. Right? You know that's that, right? So palm right, palm right. And then now you leave it, the block, almost get hit. But then by the time you get this, the hand might be moving again. We don't want that. We want to stick with that hand. So now your palm side will be here. When I'm turning to the ball, you stick with that. And because you still stick with that, before I figure it out, now you hit it before. That's how you're fast. Mm -hmm. So does that make sense? The difference is that's why. You keep your hand yeah, yeah, that's why we call sticky hand. hand. Your palm try and use that and now for the block. And then from the block, what do you do? You know it from that position. Your head or fat so chop. Take your hand, take your hand and hold them, and the fight happens from there. Because you're fast, you never leave my hand. Mm -hmm. So you always, that's why people say when you the attack also a defense. Mm -hmm. Your attack hand, you hear me? Mm -hmm. That attack hand is also a defense. Is it there already for you? Mm -hmm. We don't need another defense coming over here. Mm -hmm. That's why we're fast. Mm -hmm. The attack is a defense, the defense and the attack. They both stay together. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. There you go. So that's what we do as a second. Get your palm try, stay now, and become a defense now. Mm -hmm. Now reset. When you attack me, <laughs> now I'm attacking, that can become a defense hand. Does that make sense? Again, this attack, same defense. Again, the attack comes from defense. Now, attack and defense from the same arm. You are fast. Always stick with it. He cannot, he don't have time to move. Mm -hmm. What if he don't want to stick with you? Okay, palm try again. And I go here, okay, stick with you. Uh, he don't want to do, he move the head away. Okay, hit it. Oh, and here, hit from there. Okay, mm -hmm. you again, you don't need to block him. Because when you stick, he moves somewhere, hit it. So, do this and hit him one. This and do this, and now go down for a block. Okay, which one you take it faster? Go down for, from here, right? Go down for a block. Okay, uh, you already hit it. You already hit it. Exactly. 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 Yeah, hit him faster than block him. So what does that mean? Key solid. One hand can stick, two hand can stick, both hand combine. Then you have hand right here, both hand combine. So one will do this move, block, stick, up, go down, stick with this, go up, go here. So when my force come in, you stick with that and you read it back. When my force come down, you stick with the way down. So I cannot find anywhere when I'm about to hit it. You stay, your elbow stick with this too. Okay, there you go. You relaxing. Ah, so this one not become your force, you have your elbow stick right here. There. So hold it. If I go here, if I go hard, then you turn. That's it. This hand only two job. Here, to hold it, I feel hard, you turn. There you go. So this is called sticky head. You have elbow, down to cancel, elbow, cancel, elbow, and then down. So this is a long cell and cancel the form. Here, go down. Here, and go down. Here, you follow my hand, yes? When you follow my hand like this for a little while, you don't need to look. Okay, let's say I, here I can hit you for sure. Let's stick with that. I can hit. When I leave your hand, oh, your hand just already hit. You don't need to see where the hand goes. That's why you call this hand stick with this. Elbow, down, bong, ta, bong, ta, half circle, bong, and ta, bong, and ta. So I have to stick with you now, otherwise, right? If I leave your hand in the middle of the way, boom, hit, hit, I get it. So it forced me also, I have no choice, I have to stick with that. Right, right, right. Force your opponent have to stay, otherwise you're going to hit. So this way you stick your head inside, the other way the head outside, reverse, you outside, and I'm inside. Mm -hmm. OK? 
Okay, same thing. Now, one hand, yeah, now side, hand inside, what translates into an effort? The point you, you stick with that. Rather than a point you take hand into a block. Yeah, no good with taking hand into a block. Here, I start going here. But if you stick with that, you just down the elbow, you go up, you go elbow down, and you go up, elbow down, you go up. The guy also can hit you. He's stuck here too, isn't it? You go down, you block him, and after you block him, what happened? Look like you can hit him. So when you train it like this, mean when the hand is stuck right here, and I try to go down, you are there. I try to bring my elbow up, hold it up, up, don't fight, that's the shoulder. That's what I fight. Elbow there, look this, look, look. You see when you're in that position? My elbow cannot beat you because you don't use shoulder, you use it this and you hit. See that? See that? When you do this, up. Now that's it. No. Uh, but if you have this, different story. My elbow come up, you have a whole body behind it. You can resist the elbow. Okay, hold it. If I don't hit here, your head also have the elbow. I go elbow, you also have a whole head. I go down to punch, you have a whole. So the whole time and pre position here, I cannot go in. Elbow, I cannot beat that horse. Mm -hmm. I go here, I cannot beat your horse. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That's the good action. Yeah, yeah there's a whole elbow behind it. How's that? Yeah, so, <laughs> so, you have to go, that's what I exercise. You go here, you come up, hold it, hold it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see what the shape from here. It comes from four sides. Remember that one? Yeah. There you go. The whole time you do certain stuff for what? I keep saying, you need to hit it here. And now we use it. Anytime my horse come in, you don't think of the shoulder, you think of the elbow hip. Go down, again, elbow hip. This hand loops go up. Still elbow hip, down, down, down. Oh, yes! Still down, you don't do anything. You just up and down. Hold it. So just vertical? Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I just follow. That's it. Up from here and down from here. So, because you do certain stuff for too long, now we use them. Look, right here. Right here. Go up right here, keep close to your center, and then back down to the center. You cannot, doesn't matter how strong it is, you only have a shoulder and you have a whole body here, you should be able to hold the position. You, know, you can feel that. So this is the control, yes. So go soft, look like a little circle, but again, it means you cannot find any, any force to hit you. Because anytime you try to hit you, you have a whole hip and elbow behind you. You can hit him, but he cannot go in. But if you don't learn this, you have your arm down like this, he can go in. Mm -hmm. Okay, pull the arm down, mm -hmm. he can go here. But if you have an elbow, different story. I cannot go in, yes? Okay, what if I remove my hand? Right? That's that. How's that? Once you take your hand so away. So you have that hand like this, okay? One hand, you understand. From your hand outside, that's how you block from the outside. Okay, meaning I cannot hit, I cannot punch. Hold it, I elbow there. <laughs> Everything's strong. Yeah, this is what we have on our side. Right? You see that now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so one position of key sour when you hand outside in the fight, okay? It happens like this in the mm -hmm. We don't use your wrist to fight him, we use an elbow, and then you always control him. You see what I put the force in? Mm -hmm. You'll feel very strong. Yeah. Yeah, feel the resistance, yeah. Outside hand. But this one you do, it was an inside. You were an inside. Mm -hmm. So to practice the move force, you both each side, inside and outside. This is now good. Outside, mm. now switch. You want an inside, how you block? You do that. Mm. You go down, you go up, you use an elbow. You go down, you also use an elbow. Good. Nothing about your forearm. Hand cells. Yeah, elbow. Elbow, elbow. Me, when I try to go hard, you turn that way. Yes, and you hit me. Good. When I try to go here, then you stick with that. So if I'm about to punch in, you have this connection. Yeah? How about I move your hand a little punch it? Right there. Right there. Or if he too fast, you can shut the elbow down. Mm -hmm. Still block. Mm -hmm. But the best is he leave and you hit him if you hand fast. Mm -hmm. But your hand slow, you just load the elbow now and you go to the door right mm -hmm. here. It's all about that. And even if you go soft, you don't see why why is it? They have a meaning. You have to learn correct. When most people see this, yeah, I better learn karate. Very easy to learn and effective. This one doesn't look like effective because you look at the YouTube, this doesn't look like. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You look at the YouTube, it doesn't work with a meaning like that. You can see that. That's it. Very strong. You put the hole in. If somebody puts force in, you, you, you just put your hip on it. Very strong. That's what you're talking about. So when you have more hand training, now you have your hand inside. Right? You can inside, you use the so, tan so, bomb so, tan so, get bomb so in the form, which is this, and you hit good, and
and now we have tons of inside. Yes, the hand inside. So the fight will be happen depend on the situation. Sometimes the hand inside, just like when I'm turning your ball. Your hand will be inside. Ah, you stick like this. Yeah, you stick like this to get that inside. There's some time when you hand outside, when you punch me in the block, this hand, this hand, and boop, okay. Now we hand inside, we hand outside. We come like this. And that's why the fight of Chi Sao, we need to practice that both positions inside and outside. And both hands, where you catch this hand, hand safe. Okay, I walk, now you hand outside. When you're outside, I try to hit how you walk. You walk the elbow. I got the elbow, how you walk, and we down. That's it. Yes? I drop down, and we down. You see your head outside, it's just a little sorry, up and down. You protect yourself. This is an Good. This is an Good. Stop down now. Ah, that's an elbow. You should feel this loose, you feel that strong. I'm concentrating to Yes, no, then when I move elbow, same thing. Just relaxing. It's like a whole handle bar. You think about you inside and you was uh, uh, stand on the bus and you lean your elbows forward so they can support the body weight. This is relax. Yes? Go okay. down. Relax. Yes. You want that. Okay. You feel that now? The whole handle right here. So if you go down from the pun, where's your elbow? Yes. Yes? How about you do this? Elbow. Good? How about you do this? Same thing. You use an elbow to get his shoulder elbow. You have elbow to hit. Both that position, yeah? You take hand outside. Okay? If sometimes you take your hand and punch you, you hit heavy, you're fast. If you slow, elbow. If you slow, elbow. Now you hand inside. And now you become like this. Is that right? Uh, so, first, why we have inside and outside? Both well, because we don't know. It depends on the situation. Sometimes your hand will be inside, sometimes it will be outside. Okay? So, all about that. Okay? Go ahead. Okay, hold it. Let's say I'm heavy block you. How do you do it with jump? How do you do it with jump? If I'm heavy block, what do you do? If somebody have a hand right here and have a hand on your hand and put a heart, what do you do? You do it with jump person. You circle? No, 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 no. You think about your hand like a little spring. Yeah? If I lean heavy on it, it just it just snap back and it hit me here. Right on top. Punch. Okay, so I do that, you move back and you punch. Exactly. Exactly. So then loading. Yeah, it's in the, 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 the spring, yeah? So, okay, you put light weight on it, they stay. We can spring with the heavy on it. <laughs> Wind Chum will use that again. So, Wind Chum don't use this to fight with people. No, we don't fight. No, it's too difficult. It's called Lat Chum. Meaning the spring is too heavy, it just, it just break and hit on top. Is that right? Yeah, that's it. So now I go back, my hand heavy, my hand here. So when I get too heavy, go back, boom, right to the feet. That's a winter. That's a winter. It's an easier way. But, but that helps. When you learn it, you gotta somehow link to this. So the actual. Because if you teach Lindy or Jake, maybe they're too young to understand it. They know it, but hard to apply it. Apply it. Apply it. Yes? Yeah, that's why it's hard enough for them. Yeah. yeah. They can get, get, to get, to get deep. deep. Yeah, to get, get deep. What they have to do. We will be like it. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense now? No sports at all now. This. That's better. It's the same like. When I force you outside, you don't fight back. What do you do? Exactly the same spring. Hit that way. Ah, it snap back down. When I do hard that way, what happens? That way. It's the same. You think your hand like a bamboo, right? I lean this way, snap back. I lean this way, back to this. The same thing. How about do this? Now put it on top. Now hold it one more. How about this? Oh, there you got it. There you go. So whatever it is. The hand of wind chunk like the spring low in one position, they flexible, but they still. You move this way, hit back. You move this way, hit back. You move down, you all get hit back. Always get hit back. Ah, you cannot break the spring. The spring is. That's how it's done right now. How that? That's good. And that how to connect, understand this one position. Then you put that two positions in together. One to hand inside, mm -hmm. the other hand to hand outside, and I will start with a little circle like this. To feel, to feel the energy. That's what they call Jisa. Meaning you feel my hand, you feel here, you feel here, you feel here. It's so like you've been driving a car mm -hmm. and you have elbow, bomb, tap, bomb, tap, bomb, and tap, bomb, tap. Yeah, so this move is the same with one hand. That, this, this, there you go. Tap, bomb, tap. Yeah, bomb and tap. If I'm heavy, what happened? Then you do that one. Okay, tap, if I'm walking out like this, what do you do? 
you, way, yeah, if, if I go time here, you stay here. And how about go that far away? You, you hate me. You don't want to be follow me. Uh, so this kind of follow stand up here, down, here, and down, here, and go down, here, and go down, here. If I go far, hit. You don't need to go for that. You hit it. Yeah? Okay, how about here? Go down, and I'm heavy. What happened? Then you hit like, hit like this. Okay? Yeah, or here, go down, and you force to the side. Then you turn that way. So your hand now, the spring, they just turn whatever the force is, they follow that way. So that is the hand. Yeah, so go back to both hand, just like this. Yeah. You feel the bottom of both. Support by your hip. Yes? That's it. That elbow, turn, elbow up, turn, look. So when I do this, now you know what happened, right? I go like this, and I go turn, hip, hip. They wrap, yeah, and then I block. Okay, I block. Now you got it. I block. Yeah. I'm not in trouble. I try to I try to hold break the spring, it doesn't break. It doesn't just snap right to it. You see that now? See now? Yeah, you know that's the concept. That's the concept. So this exercise will give you that kind of okay, now we're going to teach something. First, I don't need you to know the technique, I just need to feel it. Feel it mm -hmm. in the head. Where's my force go? Now listen, this time different. This time my force go that way. Okay, my force go that way. By natural, good. Here and then that exactly. That's here. Here, so my force go leak here. Oh, boom, the hip back. This motion is just due to be right here. Good. Now, chop it you. It teach you when the force go here. My body turn. The force go this way, my body turn. Force here, turn here. That jump you forward. Go back, do this. So here, halfway he force your force in. You turn, jump kill. That will jump kill. This hand hit and come back. So the motion you just do on this side, it come from jump kill when my hit. Remember the move? Yeah, I mean, full form and you can see the why. You do that for a little while, your body will fall like that when the force come in. Why? Just a lot of those. Yeah? Does that make sense? So then we come down the body, you will feel the force coming, it just drop, boom, when you drop, it hit, come back, then you hit it this way, boom, boom, what the force for that? Yes, we that way. Okay, go back, and halfway right here, you force that way, and your body turn which way? That way. Which is the normal turn of chunky when you do that way, do that way, now we have that. Right, two of them. How's that? <laughs> so it's like that. Yeah, it, it, it's all it's very complicated in in, in the wind chamber. People don't uh, don't teach you correctly, yeah. right? Yeah. But now you can see the difference. Right? Mm -hmm. sound like that. Mm -hmm. They teach you and whatever you have before. It's for a simple fight. And you go right here. If you take it care of that, that mm -hmm. easy, right? Mm -hmm. You can take it care of this. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah. Low up, boom, to your pun. That's so bit basic. Sometimes just like that. Mm -hmm. Now you go deep. Mm -hmm. What if he did not give up? Mm -hmm. Keep coming. He start coming. Both mm -hmm. hands start. Sometimes mm -hmm. you need to deal with the force coming. The G is the next step. Because mm -hmm. it can escalate. There you go. Yeah. You hope that yeah. But the thing is, they go to high skill, but they don't need kick or don't need strength. Mm -hmm. That's the 